What's up, YouTube? Slim Tim, Mr. Fired Up, bringing y'all an update on the greenhouse. Look what's inside here. Yeah, got the IBC in here. I got a little bit of piping going on down around my feet. So stay tuned, and we'll get you going on the update. Yeah! Every day I'm shuffling. Alright, as you can see, the IBC is in here. I went ahead and painted a hunter green color and painted the cage black. Just makes it look a little bit more mean in here. Now, uh, I was reading on the forms and whatnot, green is the popular color of blocking out algae uh, out of your fish tank. So, that's what I went with. Got a nice green color going on. Look at this. Let's, let's get it close to that. Uh the black yeah had a little rainstorm this morning <laughs> just kept on working let's go on over here to the pipes and show you what's going on over there all right let's start right here at the bottom as you can see there there is my shut off valve for the IBC so that'll stop the whole system Got it coming straight out to a 90 and then to a stationary. All of this is inch and a half uh, piping for the drainage or gravity plumb, however you want to go about calling it. Which that goes over to a, another shut off valve as my water change pipe. We'll get to that here in a second. Then it goes up all the way to another stationary. And the reason why I use the stationary is instead of just being boom, boom, it flows just a little bit better, as you can see. So let's go ahead and zoom in right there. Right there on that bar is 300 gallons. All the way up there is 330 gallons, where I got the water line at right this time. So... As you can see, I got a standpipe. That is a head height of 45 inches right there, which goes back to that 90 all the way back down. All right, repositioned. Like I said, wraps around right there on the floor. Got two more 90s, once again people, inch and a half pipe. And then I got it going to a T, to an inch pipe on each grow bed to shut off valves as well. So I can adjust the flow coming through, then bam, right over into the grow bed. So that's what's going on right there. Now, what I was mentioning before, the water change valve, Right there at the bottom of the standpipe, 90 down onto the floor and runs right next to the gravity lines. So like I said, when I do, do a water change on the system, easier way out. Now here we are at the last grow bed. On the right there is the water change line and I got another shutoff valve here so I can clear the line after the water change when I close the other valve. Leave this valve open so it clears out the line and then boom, close it up. Now on the left is the gravity line and it goes right there to that shutoff valve so I can keep the pressure in the tube. Now my original plan was, which I got the wrong fitting in the box, somebody threw it in there carelessly, is to put the T right there, where my finger, there it is, boom, and come back out. So each line has an individual drain line, and that goes straight on outside. So, 
let's go ahead like I said I had the rainstorms this morning but I guess a little bit more water on the floor won't hurt I'm gonna disconnect that pipe right quick and show you the water flow coming out of the IBC all right I went ahead and opened up that valve on the IBC for the water change valve to this valve now we're gonna open And get it right, so there's your water change. You just how fast I want it to come out. Now for the grow beds, like I said, this is just merely just to end close it off. But if I want to clear the pipes or whatever, just get the sediment out, it too will come around. And as you see, I have some good flow coming out of these pipes. All right. Now, as you saw, there's gravity being fed through that pipe. Now, with it being blocked on that end, it has somewhere else to go. Remember me talking about the head height of the standpipe being 45 inches? The grow beds are a head height of 40 inches. So, that's the difference of the height. So, the gravity, once again, is going to fo force that water through a pipe. And we're going to go ahead and open this valve right here. And voila and once again can adjust it down to what I need or shut it off make sure we turn this one off again too go back to the other valve open it up clear out the water change line so you can't, don't have any water standing in that pipe. Alright people, there's your update. If you're wondering why there's a little bit of water over here on this thing, it's because this thing uh, shoots out a lot of water at the top. I'm going to have to look into that and we'll, we'll see why it's doing that. But that's the reason why there's water everywhere. I don't have a leak. But um, as always, just do your research. You see I can easily done it myself. Just watch YouTube videos, get inspired. And you can do whatever you put your mind to. So, like I said, I've got the biggest part done. The reason why I haven't done anything in the grow beds of lining them is because I haven't had the right weather. It's been kind of cold, so I want to make sure the glue cures right. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing my next video on is how to line up my grow beds up. Uh, go ahead and cut the dimensions, and I'm going to put that video in link in the next video on how I learn how to do that. Check out down below on the inspiration for this setup of my aquaponics gravity line and what I'm going off of to do the rest of my system of the feed lines coming all of, off the grow beds and coming back over here and as well the overflow it's going to be on that corner. So keep on tuning in to this uh, project, hobby, journey, whatever you want to call this for me. And I'll keep on bringing the updates. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate you inboxing me, commenting, wondering what's going on out here. So, as always, keep on liking. Keep on your comment. WNS, tune in to my last video of 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, stay fire. Oh!